Hi, my name is Greg from Best Bee Hives and I'm here to answer the burning question that everyone's been asking is how do you assemble one of these hives with just 18 bolts and have yourself ready to go to the field within 10 minutes. Your beehive will arrive in the post looking like this. This is the modular kit form and basically what you'll do is take the lid off, clip it aside, so there's your lid. The first thing that you'll notice is there's no inner lid. The best beehive system does not need an, an inner lid because we have a ventilation system operating off the front that's going to prevent that moisture from climbing up to the top of the hive and, and doing damage there. Next is your queen excluder. From there come your frames all in kit form, which you pack out. So your bottom bars, your side bars for your, for your supers, your top bars, your series of bolts, which we put up in front there. So what you'll have here from now on is the building of your supers. We're gonna pack those aside for now. And get them all out. Right, the first job you have at hand is to prepare your brood box. The first thing that we do is we want to make sure that with these hives that the gaskets don't stick with each other. So the only thing, two things we don't supply, your normal petroleum jelly, we'll take this just with your finger and smear it along the gasket. This is to ensure the water seal happens and also the propolis is not packed in this area because these seals, if you do not do this, will pack up with propolis. And you'll end up using a hive tool to crack it open. If you should forget to do this, you can get these gaskets from any automotive supplier because these are the seals that they supply for leaks in your vehicles, normally in your canopy or in your doors. That done, we're now going to come so our top bars, don't throw the elastics away because these are rather crucial for when you assemble the frames. Pack aside, take your side bars for the brood, these are the longer ones or deeps, and pass, pack your elastic aside. Now what you'll notice about these is that they've got a curve or a bow on them. What you want is the bow facing outwards. You'll, I'll explain to you exactly why shortly, but what we're going to now do is basically assemble them. And then we take our bottom bars, remembering to keep the elastic bands, and we're going to pop them in. That's how quick we've now assembled a brood frame. And we pack them into the hive and we continue. What you need to remember is as you're doing this is that you want the lever showing to the bottom there because that's where your hive tool is going to hook it should they propolize. You want to release the frame that's where you want to be able to grab it. How we've designed this is to have a gap inside here that it's better to take your hive tool and hook from that point and lift. Going outward, click over the recess at the bottom. The concept behind this hive that I started three years ago was the simplicity of wanting to put a hive together within 10 minutes in the field. And that has come through the modular process of designing this. 
So now we've assembled our hive frames and now we're going to move to the next stage of getting them inside the brood box. I'm going to show you just now how we actually assemble the frames ready for wiring but for right now we're going to bring back our brood and insert all the frames. So sliding them in one by one, we're not going to concentrate on the spacing right now, it's just the actual assembly of the hive. So we slot them in and as I mentioned we'll come back a little bit later and then I'll explain exactly how we're going to put the wire in. And that's why it's so critical that you do not throw the elastic bands away as you work. The first thing you're going to notice about the best beehive is the amount of frames that are inside here. We've worked on the external measurements of a, of a, a Langstroth beehive and taken that into account has allowed us to get an 11th frame in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That 11th frame allows for a 10% stronger brood. The same happens in the supers which allows for 10% more honey production and the same in the second super. 10% more honey production. So overall what we're looking at here is a composite hive manufactured with no wooden components whatsoever and an extremely bee friendly hive. The walls are manufactured out of fiberglass and it's encapsulated with polystyrene to act as a cooler box. So the concept of a cooler box being holding something cold or alternatively keeping something warm. Once the bees and the brood have set the temperature within inside the hive we see that that temperature stays there for 45 hours therefore less bees have to work inside the hive and more out in the field propagate. These are the lifting points where you'll get your hive tool in to release the frames. So always where people had to go underneath the wood and damage the comb at the same time that is not done anymore. So now we've assembled the brood now we move on to the assembly of a super. Now, when the hive arrives at you, it's going to have a series of dots on it. These dots indicate how the hive will be assembled. It's a linking up of these dots that bring everything together. So you want to match the same colors with each other. So we'll start there by saying we're looking for a yellow dot and we're looking for a blue dot on the side bars, on the side, on the side walls. So there we've already found a yellow and then we've already found a blue. Move these out the way and we come back. We say yellow to yellow and blue to blue. You take your 18 bolts, should you ever lose one, these are Panhead Posies M5 by 15 millimeter. So you'll bring those two points together. drill it in. You move to the bottom one with a brown and one with a blue. We'll come across there's our brown there's our blue. From here We'll go through the same motion of aligning the bolts. So with those eight bolts in place, we've now generated the shallow, or the super. We can now come back to our brood, take our queen excluder, Put the queen excluder in place. This is to prevent the queen from coming up to the top of the hive. Turn the super upside down. Apply the layer of petroleum jelly all the way around. Remember we're trying to prevent moisture from getting into the hive 
and in so doing we're also making sure that these will pop very easily and not need a hive tool we're now ready to apply the first super we get it into position we come to the latches we get the latches into place this is now to lock the hive down with handles in place we're now ready to assemble frames that will go into the first super and that should complete your standard hive. What we're going to do is, is we're going to assemble both supers because as your honey flow starts you want to be able to add an additional super on there to, to generate your higher honey flow and then the lid. So we're now finished with this so now we come to the next stage which is a series of 11 bottom bars. Remember to keep the elastic bands, I'll explain that to you just now. We want top bars and we want the shallow supers. Now we go through the same process again. So we're going to pop these together, slot and click. Now I prefer to normally do all of these in one shot and then they've done and then assembled simultaneously both supers or shallows in one shot. So we bring these all together. I've yet to see a faster way of putting frames together than what we've designed. Now we come to our bottom bars. You'll always notice on the bottom bar, you'll notice that there's a recess on the one side of the bottom bar. You always want that recess facing downwards. That's to complete the frame and give you the maximum area of coverage for your honeycomb. So you bring these together and so you continue to assemble them until you have the 11 frames that you need. And there we have our 11 frames. So we come back to our brood and super and we now insert all the frames. As I mentioned earlier we will space these later when we're ready to go to the field. Some people do prefer to have 10 frames and place them slightly wider apart. Others prefer 11 frames. That's now complete. This at this stage would be ready for the field, for the first stage of your high flow. This is where you would introduce your lid and off to the field you go. I prefer to assemble everything and then keep that spare super aside. It'll give me some time later on to add the wax foundation and to wire it up. But for now, this is ideal. So you would transfer your brood into here with wooden frames and in the next episode, We'll take you through the process of transferring from wooden hives across to the plastic fr uh, from wooden frames across the, to the plastic frames. This being in place, I'll complete the process quickly, and we start with the same. We're looking for a color. and we're looking for a color. So we're going to match the greens together. So what we're looking for is the alignment of where the bolts will go in. There's no thread on the aluminium, but there's thread into the fiberglass. We put that into position, and so we bring the super together. Okay, we've now completed our second super. The total weight of the super in composite material is less than a kilogram. So we would then turn the super over, take our petroleum jelly and once again smear a bead all the way around. Placing it in position, clipping the latches down, and then onto the final assembly 
of the second set of super frames. That's where we bring out all the top bars and we're going to go through the same process again. Now you've assembled your complete hive with your 22 super frames with your 11 brood frames in the bottom. All that is required is to once again pack petroleum jelly around the top to generate the seal there as well and then to place your lid on The last thing that we've got to do is just place the landing strip on the front of the hive, which we will just do by turning around, taking the landing strip, putting into place and putting two bolts down. So by just popping the hive on its side, Now have our landing strip in place and the hive is basically complete. The last thing that we're going to do is quickly show you how to wire up the frames. So you want this bow showing outwards. Now the whole aim of the elastic bands is that when you apply the elastic bands it's going to pull it inwards like so. When you tension your wire in and release it it'll pull it straight and your wire will be under tension. So therefore you do not need any specialized jigs or anything in motion. We're going to place it roughly in the middle, pull it across and get it into place. What you now see is that it's offset the bow, which would normally be sitting that way, has now been pulled into a concave motion. What you're going to do is you're going to start up by placing your wire through there, running the full length across, coming down and running across again. You move the elastic bands up and down as you need until all the wire is through. So therefore from there running through to that side. Down to the bottom, running them down to the bottom of those two holes and then all the way across to the other side. This is where you will then counter feed upwards and twist X your wire into place. Do not make sure that it's too tight because what you're about to achieve now is you're going to have a slightly loose wire running through there ready for your wax foundation and when you release the elastic bands the bow will then push outwards again pulling the wires tight and that's you with a best beehive that will last you 40 to 50 years and having your bees in a lovely home out in the field for more information you can come visit us at bestbeehives.com Thank you very much.